many people are jumping on the Barack Obama bandwagon, which, as an African American, <laughs> really offends me. If there is a God, why did he make me an atheist? I like an escalator, man, because an escalator can never break. It can only become stairs. <laughs> so this bloke said to me, he said, Tim, he said, as a young boy, was your mother very strict with you? I said, let me make one thing absolutely clear. My mother was never a young boy. <laughs> no, uh, you're looking at a very proud Canadian who's very proud of the education system in Canada, I think. <laughs> I think it's the goodest of all 17 countries. <laughs> the US military are pulling out of Baghdad. Fair enough, withdrawing is what you do after you fuck something. I remember the day the candle shop burned down. Everybody just stood around and sang happy birthday. When I was in America, I really got into the culture. I went into a shop and the guy said, have a nice day, and I didn't, so I sued him. <laughs> when I was a kid, my fairy godmother asked me if I wanted a long penis or a long memory. I, I forget my response. <laughs> so. I don't have a girlfriend. I just know a girl who would get really mad if she heard me say that. gold-plated chains would make a nice retirement gift for a very, very good slave. <laughs> you got a lot of nerve showing your face around here, Hauser. Look who's talking. Do you mind if I masturbate? <laughs> like most Canadians, I like to go clubbing, but if there's no seals around... <laughs> so I was in this airport, and I said to this woman, I said... She said, no, sir, this is the check-in desk. I love Jesus. He was my superhero. I like my border security like I like my sex. Sure, I have boundaries, but occasionally I let a Mexican man sneak in. I was at a casino, I was standing by the door. <laughs> and a security guy came over and said, you're going to have to move. You're blocking the fire exit. As though if there was a fire, I wasn't going to run. My uncle was a clown for Ringling Brothers Circus. And when he died, all his friends went to the funeral in one car. Uh, my proctologist used to be a photographer. Yeah. Yeah, he took x-rays, told me to bend over and say cheese. Yeah. No, I was horrible in school. I failed math so many times I can't even count. I was good at history. No. No, I wasn't. So long ago. If you want to know what the world would be like in a post-apocalyptic future, for four pounds, National Express can get you to Glasgow. <laughs> My sister and her husband live next to a bunch of cell phone towers. And they're concerned it's going to affect the health of their children, you know, if they can stop having miscarriages. So I watched a football match in Japan, at the end they started doing martial arts. I said to the bloke next to me, I said, what's going on? He said, there's two minutes of ninjury time. I quit my job at the helium gas factory. I refuse to be spoken to in that tone. <laughs> my friend asked me, if you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? I said, Cold War Russia. I can't get into the flossing thing. People who smoke cigarettes, they say, man, you don't know how hard it is to quit smoking. Yes, I do. It's as hard as it is to start flossing. A very common male fantasy is to have two women at the same time. One to cook, one to clean. Right? Just because you're offended, it doesn't mean you're right. So I get off the plane and I forgot to undo my seatbelt and I'm pulling the plane through the terminal. 
<laughs> well, you get older, it's tough to get girls tough. Up there, John. Then the best thing to be is bisexual. Then oh. you got a shot at everybody. <laughs> I preferred French over chemistry because the chemistry teacher and I just didn't have any, um... Rapport. Sadly, as a Canadian, I don't speak French. Such is life. <laughs> uh, this is true. My, uh, my mom actually should have been on one of the planes that crashed on 9-11. I think. I play golf. I'm not good at golf. I never got good. I never got a hole in one. But I did hit a guy. And that's way more satisfying. So when you're a working class mum, Jesus is like an unpaid babysitter. So I get out of the bed. I figured I'd go for a walk. She said, How long are you going to be gone? I said, The whole time. We talk here for a second. That since there's no big deal to have a woman in the White House, John F. Kennedy had a thousand of them. I am telling you right now. And I tell you, when I was a kid, I got no respect at all, you know? They always made me take the family picture. And that way I wouldn't be in it. People worry about their physical appearance. We all have silly hang-ups. Personally, I worry that one of my balls is bigger than the other two. Religion isn't harmless. It's when it's when your God starts telling you that you should kill homosexuals. We all have bittersweet memories of our childhood. I recall one summer when the neighborhood parents were buying their children skateboards. It was the rage at the time. Except for my parents. They told me that we were too poor and that they couldn't afford to buy me a skateboard. But I remember one night I tippy-toed out of my bedroom, I got a piece of wood and a hammer, and I beat them to death. <laughs> Hey man, every book is a children's book if the kid can read. I've spent the past two years looking for my ex-girlfriend's killer. But no one will do it. If my grandmother knew how much money I spent on her funeral, she would be spinning in her ditch. My girlfriend's family are quite religious. I remember the first time I went to stay with her at her parents' house and her dad wouldn't let us sleep together, which was a shame because he's very attractive. I was at a restaurant, I ordered a chicken sandwich, but I don't think the waitress understood me because she said, how would you like your eggs? So I tried to answer her anyhow. I said, incubated. And then raised and then beheaded and then plucked, and then cut up, and then put onto a grill, and then put onto a bun. Damn, it's gonna take a while. I don't have time. Scrambled. Uh, I sit at the hotel at night, I think of something that's funny, then I go get a pen and I write it down. Or, if the pen's too far away, I have to convince myself that what I thought of ain't funny. <laughs> to, to commit suicide is, is denying grace of God. It's Fuck off. I was five years old watching TV. Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Every night out the window with a bucket of water. You know what, man? I'm sick of following my dreams. I'm just gonna ask where they're going and hook up with them later. This farmer came up to me, he said, I've got 68 sheep, can you round them up for me? I said, sure, 70. <laughs> you know, you can't please all the people all the time. And last night, all those people were at my show. <laughs> there are immigrants that have come to America, stolen jobs and murdered the local population. And we call those immigrants the Founding Fathers. <laughs> Oh, I met a sexy girl a few weeks ago who yeah. worked in a restaurant making hamburgers. Oh. She told me she could make a big boy in three minutes and a boy big in two minutes. <laughs> Very sexy. <laughs> My sexual fantasy is to make love to Sigmund Freud's father. Mother! I'm, I'm a year closer to death than last time I saw you. When I was out in the middle of the desert, a UFO landed. Three one-inch tall guys get out. They walked over to me. 
I said, are you really one inch tall? They said, no, we're really very far away. And I was a very ugly kid. Every time my old man wanted sex, my mother showed him my picture. You know what, man? I got a parrot. The parrot talked, but it did not say I'm hungry, so it died. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in about 2,700 gods. Christians don't believe in 2,699. Yes. So they're nearly as atheistic as me. Yes. 5% of Brits have a hobby they're embarrassed about. I could tell you my hobby, but then I'd have to kill you, which coincidentally is my hobby. <laughs> Nobody wants to be alone. A recently divorced friend of mine is hopeful of once again finding romance. Beer bellied, completely bald. I don't like her chances. <laughs> I like people. Yeah. They're just not my favorite animal. My theory of evolution is that Darwin was adopted. <laughs> I got caught masturbating to a National Geographic magazine. Right. Not my finest hour. And I don't know who was more embarrassed, me or my dentist. I went to a proper showbiz party recently, and Brad Pitt was there. And they say, never meet your heroes, but I think Brad handled it really well. Twitter is like being able to read every toilet wall in the world. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be careful. I was involved in a one-night stand that went horribly wrong. We've been married three years now. <laughs> Why did the Muslim cross the road? Why? Because he was being relocated by Israeli authorities to make more room for Jewish settlements on the West Bank. <laughs> Week, nothing went right. I bought a waterbed. There were two Cuban guys swimming in it looking for Florida. One time a guy handed me a picture of me. He said, here's a picture of me when I was younger. Every picture is of you when you were younger. I was driving down the street past the gas station. There were two signs in the window. Help wanted self-service. <laughs> so I went in and hired myself. I'm against picketing, but I don't know how to show it. I love everywhere in the world, because wherever you go, people are all the same. It's not easy being green. Oh. When I was a young boy, my dad said to me, he said, Tim, he said, you can be anything you want to be in life, the sky's the limit, which made me sad, because I wanted to be an astronaut. Two euro from the sale of every one of my DVDs goes to the poor, underprivileged children of Cambodia. Who manufacture them? <laughs> no, my wife is beautiful. My wife has an ass like J-Lo. No, Jello. <laughs> I'll tell you, when I was a kid, I was poor, very poor. How poor? How poor? I was so poor, in my neighborhood, the rainbow was in black and white. If you go to the grocery store and you stand in front of the lunch meat section for too long, you start to get pissed off at turkeys. You see like turkey ham, turkey pastrami, turkey bologna. Someone needs to tell the turkeys, man, just be yourself. Right you make woman. love to the right woman, Johnny is beautiful, beautiful. I mean, the last time I made love to my wife, it was ridiculous. <laughs> Nothing was happening. I looked at her, I said, what's the matter? Can't you think of anyone either? <laughs> I like rice. Rice is great when you're hungry and you want 2,000 of something. Is my wife dissatisfied with my body? A tiny part of me says yes. I got a new CD, it's in stores. When you have a CD in stores, you have to do in-store appearances. If nobody shows up, I just pretend like I'm shopping. No, I've got a girlfriend. Uh, I've been going out with my girlfriend for... Sex. <laughs> you like the sex? No? A duck loves bread, but he does not have the capability to buy a loaf. I remember when I was a fetus, I used to sneak out at night when my mother was sleeping. I don't worry about being dead. I won't know about it. That's the best thing about being dead. 
It's like being stupid. It's only painful for others. You know, you can't get jobs as an airline pilot if your name is Jack, because you walk into the cockpit, the co-pilot says, Hi, Jack, and everyone starts screaming. <laughs> I got a... You know what, man? I got a parrot. The parrot talked, but it did not say, I'm hungry, so it died. I hope you guys are doing okay. Money-wise, I'm set for life. <laughs> Provide I die next Tuesday. <laughs> I got a new dog. He's a paranoid retriever. <laughs> he brings back everything because he's not sure what I throw him. I'm trying to become at least the most famous person in my neighborhood. There's a guy in my neighborhood. He's in the Guinness Book of Records. He's had 43 concussions. He lives very close. In fact, just a stone's throw away, but the point... <laughs> I used to do drugs, I still do, but I used to too. <laughs> <laughs>